Hey everyone, this is Daniel. In today's video, I want to talk on Microsoft Forms latest features. And specifically, there are two new features that I want to focus on. So first one is the new theme experience that comes along with it. And the important thing over here is that you have the options to select from either one of these templates and you can go ahead and customize it. But the beauty is that now when your form starts, this is the new screen that you see. And now in PowerPoint, you have the option to go ahead and embed the interactive meeting such that when people are filling up the forms in your PowerPoint, you can real time see that entry. So stick around. These are very exciting. You definitely want to be aware of them. But first, Here's my intro video. So let's get started. And first, I want to talk about the attractive invitation cards. So first things first is when you come into office.com, you come to this homepage of Microsoft 365. On the top left, you click on the app launcher, also called as a waffle icon. You find your Microsoft Forms, click on it, and now the tab opens up and voila, you now see the homepage of Microsoft Forms. A little in interesting thing is that now I see that the default URL is design page V2. Before it was not, and so therefore you could not immediately see all these templates. But now that that is the default, all of these templates just pop up and I love that. But 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 let's focus on what we're here about. Um, so now if I go and select a new form or a new quiz, either one of them, I see this option. But on the top right, when you go and click on style, you now see all of these other things. And granted, I've done videos on this. I've shown you that these are now the new attractive and attention responses AI is used to go ahead and create these immersive styles for you. But the ones that I want to focus on are these ones, is the attractive invitation cards. Um, so we'll just take an example of a beautiful which one, which is for this thing, right? It is going ahead and saying, you know, we are kind of a, a, a event for coming up for your team or something. Look at it. First of all, it's giving you animated background. It already gives you a pick. It's just giving you all of this really good experience as your attractive invitation card. So let's just go and put in some information, all right? For the, instead of the untitled form, just go and click on it and replace it by monthly celebrations. You see that when I just went ahead and changed the title, it also starts giving you recommendations of the type of questions that you wanna ask on the form. So this is very interactive and there's AI infused into this because now it's capturing the main purpose of the form based on the title and then it's also giving you all these questions. And then here you can go ahead and put in all this other information that you want because this is literally the invitation card. And if you don't understand what that means, let me prove that to you. Right over here, I can go and click on preview and when you click on preview, you only see this one section of the card because that is the main thing. And then if you go and click on start, it goes ahead and starts with all of these other questions. Now I haven't put any of the questions, therefore it went directly to the submit, but you get the point. So if I go back now to the back over here, you can see that I've got all of these features and functionalities, but, but I also have the flexibility to go ahead and change it because there's more other things. Remember, I call this as a monthly celebration. AI went ahead and saw what I'm looking for and it's giving me some other recommendations. Hey, instead of this theme, do you wanna go and try that? I said, oh, I like it. And as if I do it as a test right away here in the preview, you'll see now your invitation card is here as is, and then I can go and click on start and all the other things come up. I really like this functionality because it serves two purposes. First of all, it gives you a good overview of what this form or this invite is all about. But after that, it adds a few more experiences to it. You now have dynamic backgrounds. You have questions that are related to that. And AI is constantly assisting you to improve the overall experience of this Microsoft Forms. So this is the first new feature that I want to talk about. But now let's switch gears and take a look at the live feedback which you can see in your PowerPoint presentation. So in June of this year, I had this video posted which talks about the Microsoft Forms Survey Live. And over here, I'm demonstrating that directly through the browser from Microsoft Forms website. But, but towards the end of this video, I do go ahead and show you this website. And in the website, it actually talks about how towards the end, it says, what's next? We are going to now go ahead and provide this add-on directly into PowerPoint. Guess what? This add-on feature is available. And that is what I'm going to demonstrate that to you. So I'm in PowerPoint, which is part of my overall Microsoft 365. And by default, I'm on the home tab. But if I click on insert, uh, you will see the option for Microsoft Forms. Now this all comes along with my existing license. So I really didn't have to do anything else. This add-on or sometimes we say add-in was there by default. 
Now, if I go and click on it, it now has this little pop-up option on the right, all right? This is new. And it already shows all the forms that I have access to, specifically the ones that I was an owner or the maker of these forms. So the ones that I'm gonna pull over here is directly this one, okay? That's the one that I added before. So I select it, but selecting it doesn't really do anything. You gotta select it and you gotta click on insert. Once you do insert directly on this one screen or the slide of your PowerPoint, it goes and populates the whole thing and it gives you two options. It says, hey, what do you wanna do? Do you wanna collect the responses offline? And I'll do a whole separate video on that. But the one that we are focused on is present for live interactive meetings. All right, so I'm gonna go and click on that. Moment I do that, again, with the slide fully filled up, the form and its results are directly being presented over here real time. Can you understand what that means? So for example, if I am presenting in some session or some event, I want to get people's opinion real time, all right? While I'm still presenting, I can go ahead and have this presented and ready. And then people can go ahead and scan this QR code Again, real time while the presentation is going on. And when people are going in and filling out the form, you up there on the stage can get a real time analysis of all the results that are coming in. I mean, this is pretty awesome because people are filling it in real time. You are seeing it real time and it's all happening in the presentation directly. No longer do you have to toggle off to the browser, find your form and do all of that. No, it directly happens inside your presentation. To me, this is huge because I'm gonna be using this again and again for so many of the events that I speak on. But there's one more thing over here is that on the top right, if you go and click on it, it slides out and it gives you some options because let's think about it. If I did not want this, right, it was the wrong form. If I just select it on it and if I click delete, nothing happens. For you to go ahead and either get this deleted or replaced, you've got to go to the top right. You got to click on this. It will slide out. Then you go and click on delete. So when I delete it, it goes away. All right. But if I want to go and bring it back again, I can do the exact same thing. Select it, click on insert, go ahead and pick the one I want and it directly shows up over here. The other important thing on the top right is the option to go ahead and reload because at some point that it may not have loaded, whatever happened, you could have lost the internet connection for a small period of time. You can always go and click on that slider option and always do a reload. And then the last thing I wanna show is that when you go and actually click on the one that you want, uh, you insert is what we used, but if you click on edit, it actually goes ahead and slides out another embedded browser. It looks like it is directly the Microsoft Forms, but it's actually an embedded browser and it shows you where you can actually go and fill out the form. So you don't have to open up another browser and go and go to it directly by going to the actual option and clicking on edit it builds out the form directly for you embedded inside a browser type effect so you have full access to it directly from here or inside your powerpoint this is awesome so i personally am super excited about this because i know for sure i will start to leverage it so as a quick recap we had two new features first of all is the attractive invitation card that way, before you even start building the form, you give the users a quick overview of what this form is all about and let them slowly start getting into the experience of that form. And the second one, which is my personal favorite, is the ability to go and do live feedback in PowerPoint when people are actually submitting the entries in the form. You can see what those entries are, what people are filling in, what they're choosing, what they're not choosing. All happens in real time inside PowerPoint, which you can use when you're presenting it. You don't have to switch over to a browser anymore. It happens real time inside PowerPoint. So hopefully this video was useful to you. Hopefully you got as excited as I did. And as always, keep using Microsoft Forms. Hello, hello, hello. So if you like this video, go ahead and click on that subscribe button and smash that like button. Also, if you have a few extra seconds, can you go ahead and put in a comment, either say something nice or give me ideas for my next video. And until then, see ya.